guys, welcome to my life shadows. This is going to be a really quick message for today. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to see what the messages are. I have shuffled the cards and now I'm cutting the deck. So let's see, we're going to do this together. Take a deep breath. Angels, guides, positive energies only. What are the messages for the collective? Whoever this video is meant for, may the messages get to them. This is a timeless reading. Take what resonates. I'm hearing balance is being restored. I'm already getting a message. You guys need to burn a black and white candle. So one black chime candle, one black white candle, or you could do a seven day candle, but I'm getting more of the smaller, like a chime candle or a votive candle to balance out the energies that you are feeling because some of you may be feeling a little imbalanced or you might be stuck in your head and that's because of the new moon in Capricorn. It is creating a strong energy for those of you who are sensitive to the energies such as empaths, healers, um, Reiki healers in particular, or energy workers, and anyone who has a spiritual practice, 111, highly intuitive, and of course the new moon is on the 11th of January, which is also 111, so it is a strong, powerful time to tap into your third eye crown chakra, your higher self, to identify what it is you want to manifest. The energy is very strong. So you may be feeling, um, some of you might be feeling DNA activations and going through a spiritual level up. And that could be why you're experiencing headaches or you feel like you have a cold or a stuffy nose and then it goes away like in two seconds and you're like, what just happened? Like it goes away like in the morning or it goes away by the afternoon or it only lasts a couple of days. You're going through a spiritual level up. I'm hearing your soul is going through a transition, a transformation, and the black and white chime candles will help bring more balance, like the yin and yang with your fam, with your family is what I'm hearing, and also with feminine and masculine energies. So more balance for you, collective. The first card is the two of swords, which is pretty funny, um, because we're talking about the new moon, and this is also giving me like the black moon with the crescent moon. And the two here of the two of swords. I'm seeing this more as restoring peace. Um, the original tarot, the two of swords, represents peace. Um, and it's also blocking out any negativity. It's protecting your heart, especially if you are associated with Egyptian history or if you are, if you were Egyptian in a past life, when the pharaohs were going through the mummification process, they all have their arms crossed which is a sign of protection, which is what this symbolizes here as well, and is protecting your mind, your mental, which will then give you more peace of mind during the lunar phases of the moon, which Luna is for the moon, also lunatic, right? Lunacy. So keeping peace within yourself, restoring your energy and the balance within, within you. You have the Knight of Cups. Um, do not overindulge in things that you know are not good for you. 333, three, three, surround yourself with the energy of love. You are starting to put stronger, put boundaries, put stronger boundaries up. You've gone through a spiritual cleanse, or that is something that you're going to be doing. I'm also seeing um, the thoughts that you have, you're going to visualize them and attract them to you with the Capricorn moon. I'm also seeing Lady Lilith. Um, connect to you or a gracious spirit of some sort. I think it resonates there, but I'm seeing you connect to your higher self and identify what are your passions, your goals, your desires. What is something that you've been wanting because it is calling to you and you are now going to start working towards achieving that goal or making that happen, whatever that looks like for you. You're very focused on it or you will be. I'm not seeing the devil as negative. I'm seeing it as a positive with the nine of swords here, or nine of wands, excuse me. You're going to be very passionate about pursuing something. You're going to be more mindful and not overwhelm yourself like you used to. And here we have the, what is this, the six of swords? No, it's not. Five of swords. You're no longer doubting yourself. For some of you with the snake symbolism, four, five, six, angel number, 
I do feel that Lilith has stepped in to help you find your strength and confidence to go after what you want. She is showing you the truth because I feel like this is the Ace of Swords and everything else is kind of you like dabbling or kind of just eh, like dwelling, stuck, stagnant energy. You're not doing that anymore. You're moving forward. You're making some type of progress here. And with the Knight of Pentacles, you're going to take some time to reflect and connect with your angels and your guides. For some of you, this is Lilith. Yes, it is Lilith with the tower to identify what it is that you need, what you want. Some of you guys could have had a significant dream about her or with her. Symbolisms, messages from her. And I feel she's showing you how to restore your solar plexus. Step into your light with this King of Wands energy. Be the energy that you want to receive and be in that frequency, uh, lighting that fire within. She's going to help you get your motivation. Love yourself. Move forward. 555 angel number. Have positive changes in your life so that you can start speaking your truth, living your truth, and pursuing what it is you are meant to achieve in this lifetime with the Eight of Wands. It's like speaking words of truth, taking action, not just through manifesting, but by actual actions on what you need to do. And with the Page of Pentacles, you are gaining another energy of some sort within your spiritual team that is going to help you to love you more. But for some of you, I am seeing energy of something that's going to help you with your finances, stability. I'm also seeing a seal or a sigil of some sort with this Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing you protect your home. Your money blessings are coming through to you. You're going to have a good windfall of financial blessings for someone out there. This resonates for you. Claim it down below. You're starting a business. There's new money. There is new success here. But I'm also getting you are protecting yourself. This energy will be protecting you. Yes, with the seven of wands. And if you've already done a seven day candle, whether it was for money, whether it was for protection, whatever that candle was for, it is successful and it has done its job. So know that your angels, your guides, your spiritual team is with you and they are giving you strength with the Leo card here. It's like the, I'm, it's supposed to be a lion, but I'm seeing like a black panther here for you. Your ancestors are with you. They're giving you strength. I'm also seeing if you're drinking tea, be mindful and put intention into what you drink in the morning, whether it's tea, coffee, hot lemon water, whatever you are drinking, stir it clockwise in a circle towards you, clockwise motion if you want to attract something and manifest because I feel like this is a very strong intention that is going to attract the blessings that you want. If you're wanting to banish something, stir that tea or coffee counterclockwise away from you to banish whatever it is that you do not want. For example, if you want to stop procrastinating, if you want to stop thinking negative, if you want to heal yourself from some type of physical ailment, stir it clockwise saying that that specific thing is going to be removed from you, away from you, and stir it clock counterclockwise to get it away from you. If you want to attract blessings, peace, harmony, wisdom, strength, you stir that tea or coffee towards you clockwise. I'm also seeing some of you may do this in threes, so the power of three is significant for you. And your last card is the Four of Pentacles. Reach out to your spiritual team. They have heard you. They will hear you. And they will grant you a blessing, a wish of some sort. I'm also seeing you will be claiming back your energy. I'm seeing prayer beads for some of you. Or rosary or chanting that is going to help you claim back your energy. Your hands have the energy of healing. Be open to receive and also remember to give thanks and be in the energy of gratitude because the offerings that you give will be returned to you tenfold. So that's what I have for you, Collective. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I have a couple spots left for the Lilith Strength and Confidence Ceremony.
that I will be doing on the 13th. Thank you for supporting my channel and I send you many blessings. Bye.